Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to control the extensions uh, in Windows devices, both for Chrome browser and Edge browser. We are going to divide this video in three parts. First of all, we are going to block all the extensions. Second, we are going to allow a specific exception to be installed by the user. And uh, third part will be how to silently install certain extensions. Again, this is going to happen both for Chrome browser and Edge browser. Let's get started. We are going to create all in one single configuration profile. So in Endpoint Manager Admin Center and under Devices, we are going to create a new configuration profile. Let's create the profile for the platform, as we said, Windows 10 later. And we're going to use the Settings Catalog. Hit Create. I'm just going to name it. And here in the configuration, we're going to add settings. The first settings we are going to add is to block all the extensions to be installed. So let's look here for extensions. And you want to search under two categories. The first category will be Microsoft Edge extensions. Now it's loading. Okay. And we are going to hit control which extensions cannot be installed. The second category we're going to, to look is in, uh, under Administrative Templates, Google Chrome Extensions. While loading. Okay, now we're going to configure extension installation block list okay now we have in the same configuration profile these two settings we're gonna enable both of them and both require one simple configuration we're gonna block all the extensions asterisk and asterisk. That's it. With this, we will block all the extensions to be installed in Chrome browser, in Edge browser, no matter which store we are using. The second setting we are going to add is um, the, the ability to install silently certain extensions to everyone or to an individual group. So in this case, we're going to go again to add a setting, extensions. Let's get started with Google extensions now. And we are going to configure which, uh, um, which extensions are, gonna, are going to be installed uh, silently. So in this case, configure the list of force install apps and extensions. And in Edge, control which extensions are installed silently. Okay, how can we control that? Let's start with Google Chrome. So let's enable this. And we go. We, we are going to go to the web store and look for Office, for example. 
here is the extension we want to install. And this is the part of the extensions we need to copy and paste. The same will be with Edge. In this case, we go, we're going to go to the Microsoft Edge, look for Office, and copy this last part here. Okay, with this, we'll, we will have all the extensions blocked to get installed by the user, but silently, um, it will deploy Office both in Chrome browser and Edge browser. The last setting we are going to configure is the ability for the end user to install specific extensions. Okay, so, Again, we're going to um, add a setting, extensions, and we are going to go to Chrome extensions and saying, um, let's see, configure extension allow list. Okay, so it's going to click here and in Edge. we are going to allow specific extent extensions to be added. So in this case, we're going to allow the, the end user to install Adobe Acrobat, both in Edge. Let's copy this. I'm going to Edge, allow a specific extensions to be installed. In this case, <clears throat> um, the extensions um, uh, will not be installed automatically, but only will be available for the end user to get installed. And here, okay, so this is the extensions ID exempt from the block list. Okay, so again, this is the Adobe Acrobat in, in the Chrome Web Store and add it here. Okay, now it's done. Both blocking all the extensions, installing silently certain extensions and allow the ability for the end user to install if they want certain extensions as many as they want we have only one here but we can add more as you see in this case we are not going to configure scope tags and in the assignments we can add all the devices or we can of course select one group in our organization in this case we're going to add apply to all the devices but you can scope it as you want next here we have the overview of our configuration and we are going to create it let's see how a student in in his or her device um, is going to see what we just have done and um, here we have um, edge and we see that the browser is managed by my organization, that this Office uh, extension is installed, that I can not remove because it's managed by my organization, but the same is happening with Chrome. So my browser is managed, um, the app, the extension, sorry, is, is installed, and there is no chance to remove it, okay? So if we go, on, if we go into add more extensions, but or from the Chrome or from the um, Edge store. You see here, like for example, um, this one, yeah, it's blocked by my admin. This one, if I want to get it, is blocked. And same is happening um, uh, in Chrome. If I want to uh, Chrome extension, and wanted to add something um yeah so we go here and block from my admin but if i try to uh let me switch this to english if i try to 
look for Adobe, we have Acrobat. In this case, I can add it to Crop. The same is happening here. So here, I cannot do it, but if I go to um, search for Adobe, okay, imagine that I want this experience, so I want to get it. Nope. But if I want to get it, this one, just in the allowed list, I, I will get it, and it allowed me to inst to get installed. Okay. Hope now 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 you can um, see how can how can you manage your uh, extensions both in Chrome and in Edge browsers.